Welcome back to part two of my playthrough. If you've not seen the previous episode, it will always be in the description, so go check that out first. But let's get back to the game. We're going to see if there's anyone of value. Uh, this guy's actually got 21 intrigue, but I don't think it's going to be worth the upgrade because uh, our current spy master has 18. So we're going to look for another knight. Oh, this guy is good. We're going to get this guy in. He's a berserker as well. So he's going to be a very good knight. We're going to take him. Unpause it. Get him in. Oh, we've actually got a prisoner. And this guy's obviously no use to us. Nobody's going to ransom anything for him. So we're actually going to execute him. We get a bit more dread, which will make people scared of us. Unfortunately, our concubine Inga has had is having a child. So our first baby's on the way, which is good. Hopefully we can get as many of those as we can. Now our advance of our seduction to Ileana. Why is it a zero percent? I don't understand. I guess we're just going to have to end the scheme and uh, just cut our losses. But she is not interested for some strange reason. But, you know, it is what it is. All good. Now, how long do we have before we've um, controlled that county? Okay, we have seven years left on the county control. I don't like to expand um, too quickly because you'll find that you have so many counties um, that aren't under control and you start getting a lot of problems because of that. Fortunately, our holding limit is six at the moment and we only have four. So we, we have got room to expand. So I think expanding up to six will be okay for now. But then after that, it's going to take some more fault. So we have another girl that has come to visit our court. So we're going to try and get her in and then we can marry her off to hopefully another decent knight. So we got Otter, who is 21 and he's also a berserker. So he's going to make a very good knight as well. So we're actually going to get him in. So I'm actually going to remove the council members that is not my marshal because obviously we want our marshal going out because, I mean, he's an incredible knight. But we're going to make sure that these don't go out to fight we're also going to make sure our lovers don't go out to fight as well and everybody else they should be good now hopefully we can build up a little bit of money because we do want to start creating the men at arm regiments just to get ourselves some extra troops but i think for now we can just get some light footmen that should get us by and i'm actually going to up that to two just for now because the maintenance does cost a lot of prestige and as you see, we have one prestige coming in at the moment and we're losing 0.6 there. And then the next step that we need to take is we need to look at some more land that we can get hold of. So we have this guy here and once our troops are back, we will have 1,200, which is actually really good. So um, we can start looking at that. And then we have this guy who is currently being raided so at the moment it's looking like we can put up a good fight against most of these people i don't really want to start heading down this way towards upland just yet um i think we need to we need to try and concentrate on norway at first but i'm actually going to wait a little bit longer because i just want to build up some more troops we have had the game on pause for quite a while so that hasn't been moving because of that and uh, we know we have low control. We are trying to fix that. And then I think the next thing is we want to try and get a hook on our brother Bjorn. So we will get that in the works, get that going. Hopefully that will be successful. We now have a hook on this guy up here, which is going to be really helpful. He actually has one child. So, for example, you know, if you want to marry your children off to somebody else to um, get a good alliance or sometimes you, you want to take over there. Those hooks are going to really help us out. So Inga has had a daughter. So we will look for a half decent name. Cracker. I like that. And we're going to call her Olva. So we're going to take a look at her and we're going to choose her lifestyle focus. Which I think I'm going to put on Intrigue. Because she could be a possible spy master for later down the line. And then to educate her we can simply use ourselves because we do have the 28 intrigue skill so that's going to work out quite well and now we have enough troops to go and attack we're actually going to go for this person here uh, because we do have enough troops to match their army so it's going to cost us 75 prestige but that will be all good 
And I know we can start getting claims on these places that will uh, cost a lot less. But doing it this way will just be a lot faster for now. Obviously later on, we can start concentrating on getting claims and stuff like that. But you know, one good thing about being Viking is that you can just go in like this. Now hopefully we win this fight. I mean, they do have eight champions, which is a little bit scary. Oh, this is close. Oh wow, we're gonna lose this. We're actually gonna lose. Okay, we lost. Not good. Not good at all. And that's purely because of champions. Um, they have eight champions and we only have six. But that's a little bit scary. So what are we going to do? That is the question. Now I think the thing that we're going to have to do, and it's not something that I want to do, but I kind of feel like it's the fastest option to take this land. And that is to hire some mercenaries. Now we can't afford it, really, but... But I think it's um, the, a good option to get it over the line. So we're going to go in with both of our armies. And hopefully take them down this time. And like I say, if you think that's wrong. You know, and you think there was a better option available. Then please let me know in the comments. And I'll be grateful for that. Now is this guy going to go? Yeah, he's in. Now we should have enough to take these down. And we do get it over the line. But, I mean... You know, they gave us a battle. So we are going to have to try and get some more uh, champions to, to help us get these fights over the line. Unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I let, after all that I said about not having my, my council going out to war, somehow our, our councillor got stuck out there and he's actually been killed. So, I mean, that's a good example of why I don't like my council going out and we actually struggled to get a good council so that is a major foul but <laughs> but hopefully we can sort that out we do have this woman so we're going to recruit her to our court and hopefully marry her off you know irony i guess it's not going too well this battle here i think we might be punching a little bit above our weight taking this fight on but you know, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. Now, this guy's got 17. Um, unfortunately, none of these have any decent perks or a steward. I'm actually, I'm going to go for this guy because he's got the uh, scared trait, which means my dread will uh, put him off a little bit more if we ever need that to come into account. So uh, we're going to marry these two off. We're going to convert her to our religion. And then obviously, once that guy comes in, we are going to convert him to... Now we're going to try and fabricate the hook on our brother. And we get a weak hook, I mean, which is still good. It's not obviously as good as a strong hook, but it is still going to be good enough for now. Now he's actually got a really bad opinion of us, but that is probably because he's not the same religion. So so now he is, yeah, now he's a little bit better. Uh, but we can sway him. Now I think we're being raided as well. Yep, we are being raided. There's not too much we can do about that at the moment. Inga is pregnant again. We have another child on the way. Okay, now we got that. Now we take that. Now that um, that was hard enough thought it would be, but that will help us out a lot. Okay, our chaplain's done with this place, so we can actually get him moving straight onto this place here. And if we look at the religion map, we're actually spreading faster and faster which is good and i think why we have the mercenaries i think it's probably best to start going to war with this guy as well where we got them we had them for a few years so we might as well make the most of them get our money's worth if you like and we actually have a perk which we're going to use uh, like i say we're going for kidnapper so we're gonna um, just unlock this one and make our way around to there okay and finally we get a son we now have our first heir and uh, yeah, we're going to call him Askel. That's, that's a good good enough name. That's good. We're building up the opinion from our Chancellor, which is going to help. Okay, I mean, I have no idea why, but it says we can challenge Chief Aura because um, they committed a crime which was fornicating against us. Um, so I have no idea how this has happened. I mean, <laughs> if you know, uh, let me know in the comments because, I mean, she's all the way up here. 
I don't see what relevance that has to us, but. So then I guess, what do we want out of it? We can get a weak hook, we could get humiliation, or we can just get some straight gold. Obviously the gold would be nice. Now the thing is, is that she, do she doesn't have a spouse. So there is a possibility that we could marry her, um, especially if we get the hook. But I don't really see what that will offer us because she already has like four heirs. You know, even if that guy died, it would be one of these. So if we had a child of her, I mean, now she's just popped out twins, which, uh, <laughs> which yeah, makes it even worse. But if we have a child of her, then our heir is going to be so far down the line. I, I can't really see that being beneficial to us. So I don't think a marriage... Um, is going to help us in any way so i think um the best bet is to just go for straight gold but yeah like i say i have no idea why why that is there and why this is happening but you know we'll take it we'll take it if we can get some free money i'm always down for that i mean we're going to be fighting this guy and look at him like he's got no chance he's a berserker but you know come on come on now this should be an easy win surely obviously the thing we're trying to do is not get injured and get the highest rate of success that we can now high is good we do take the risk of medium but i think that's going to be our best option and we get it we get it he gets the trait wounded and we don't get any negative effect which is good we are victorious and we get 75 yeah and we give up the right to imprisoner which is fine i mean you know i don't think she's going to cause us any problems over there so uh, we'll take the money and uh, we'll be happy with that. We do have another intrigue perk skill. So we're going to use that. We're going to get kidnapper. So we can actually abduct people now, put them in a prison. So that I find that's really helpful. Like, for example, if you come across a queen um, or a princess or something like that, you can actually abduct them, imprison them, make them your concubine, have a child with them, and then your child will end up being the heir to the throne. It's a really useful tool to have. 